Hey, I'm Nathan, and today I'll be walking you through a social posting agent designed to automatically repurpose long-form blog or article content into more bite-sized posts for social media platforms like X and LinkedIn. And the best thing about this agent is that it can do it all on its own without any manual work on your side. How so? Let me show you through this example right now. So here first, our social posting agent needs to be triggered before it starts running the following tasks. And a trigger is basically an event or a catalyst that causes the AI agent to take action. In our case here, our trigger is connected to our changelog website. It's a place where we publish our latest updates and product features so that whenever a new piece gets uploaded here, the AI agent detects it and then it begins its process as we are seeing right now. And you could set the trigger to be from your own content management systems via API integrations so that the AI agent will check whenever you upload a new piece of content from anywhere. So step one, as you can see here, it um, checks the change log here and then it notices a new post, the Gemini, uh, Google Gemini topic, and then it scrapes the transcript, so the full text over here, and uses this full text to then create social media posts on LinkedIn and on X. Taking a quick look at the output, it outputs and generates an image as well, according to our prompts, and then also a post here that will be published later on. And then on X, um, this is the answer. You might notice that the answers are vastly different. Uh, that's because under the hood, we've set up these tools differently via prompts that we've given it. So taking a look at each of these tools, create a LinkedIn post, create an X post, uh, we can see here that we've prompted it to follow a more professional, approachable tone, and we've made the format into short readable paragraphs and also fed it some examples um, to follow. Same with the create an X post tool where we've given it a tone of clarity, conviction, making it more bold, punchy and making the, the format shorter in terms of the character count and then giving it some examples to draw inspiration from as well. So now we're here, we've got to the point where the AI agent is prompting us to click approve where it's asking us permission basically if, if it's ready to, to post. And uh, we've set it up this way so that if in case we have any final tweaks or refinements we wanna have, um, and we can choose to turn this off actually. So if you go to edit agent and you click tools, you will notice that there's an exclamation mark besides these two, um, these two tools that actually make the post. And you could toggle it to be auto run if you fully trust what the agent is outputting and are okay with every first draft that it creates, so to speak. But in my case, I like to have the approval required toggled just because I like to tweak things a little bit. Um, for example, here, I'm gonna get rid of the line spaces here. I don't like to have too many lines, uh, too, many, too much spacing out. And now let's say I'm satisfied with the output. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit approve. And now it should um, post right to my LinkedIn. Cool, so it's posted, apparently. I'm gonna refresh my page and there we go. So it's posted it alongside the image. Keep in mind, you can also attach your own image if you're not happy with the initial output of the image that is given. But I'm gonna go ahead and delete it because it's just a demonstration right now. And the same can be done for the X platform where you can approve the final social media post. So there's that. Um, and to wrap up, that's a quick look at the social posting agent. As you can tell, um, this whole process would save a lot of time in producing consistent content across different platforms, which would be a useful tool for, I would say, marketing teams and even solo creators uh, or whoever wants to grow their operations and business through making content. Give it a try and let us know what you think.